international gathering the UK has hosted in decades and a significant diplomatic moment. Joining us now is Sir William Patey, the former British ambassador to Afghanistan and to Saudi Arabia. Hello to you, Sir William. Thank you for joining us. What an event it's going to be. Indeed, it's a, a huge logistics challenge for the, the, the Foreign Office, Foreign Commonwealth Development Office. It's a, a huge day for the Prime Minister and the Foreign Secretary. This is, uh, although they're not going to be a series of bilateral meetings, there's quite a lot of, uh, I would liken it to speed dating. It'll be an opportunity for the Prime Minister and the Foreign Secretary to meet uh, the whole galaxy of world leaders and uh, prime ministers in a very short period of time. So it's it's an opportunity for the United Kingdom, even even in her death, uh, the, Her Majesty is is playing a significant role in uh, uh, in helping Britain uh, on the world stage. It's a challenge diplomatically, isn't it? Uh, when we think about. Russia, we think about China, we think about Saudi Arabia. Yes, well, it's uh, obviously some countries were not invited at all. Uh, Russia and Belarus, who uh, who were invaded a, a fellow European country, Myanmar, Syria, uh, uh, Iran, you know, in a sense, obvious pariahs. Um, other countries, the rest of the world, with whom we still have uh, diplomatic relations and uh, de varying degrees of friendship, um, uh, they have they have been invited, and uh, obviously, uh, most people. Uh, my understanding is that uh, nearly every country that was invited has sent a representative, um, and that is a mark of the respect in which the Queen is held personally, uh, was held personally, uh, and it's an important moment. Although the de facto leader of Saudi Arabia um, will not be attending the funeral, he will have uh, a a meeting to pay his respects with the king um, subsequently. But we do know that Ukraine's first lady will be coming. Yes, well, uh, it is not surprising that uh, Ukraine would want to send, uh, obviously, President Zelensky can't leave the battlefield, as it were, but, but they will want to uh, be represented at a high, a high level as a mark of respect. Out of out of both respect for Her Majesty and for the support that the United Kingdom has given them in their struggle against the Russians. So, William, has there ever been a global leader that has been so well respected as Her Majesty? I can't think of one. I was trying to think last night. You know, uh, she was recognised by everyone. I mean, I spent a lot a lot of time in the Gulf, where there are lots of monarchies, and the monarchies there uh, understood that. The, the, Her Majesty was the Queen, the monarch of all monarchs. The, she was undisputed uh, uh, leader of the monarchies, if you like, uh, given the longevity of both of her and of the monarchy and of the way she conducted herself. Uh, so I think uh, we will not see her like again, Britain will not see her like again, uh, because of the uh, the way she conducted herself and the, the, the role she played in promoting Britain overseas. She was undoubtedly respected by uh, by nearly everyone I ever encountered. Have you been privileged to meet Her Majesty during her lifetime? I did. I met her a few occasions. I, I was with her when she hosted King of...